Hello and welcome to Nutrition Bites. I'm your host, Steve Graham, joined today by Michelle Giacometti and Taylor Yoder. We're going to talk about fad diets. So here in America, we are all about quick results, efficiency. Something's trending on Twitter, we want to know about it like that. Mm -hmm. um, and going along with that, we also want to lose weight because we're, we're known for being a bit overweight in this country, but we want to do it with minimal effort. So what is your take on fad diets? So as we know, everyone's different, right? And with these fad diets, they might not be beneficial and work for everyone. Um, of course, we all wish that there was one diet that would help everyone lose weight, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, uh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, so as Taylor said, they're not really personalized. Um, and it's important to keep in mind that certain fad diets are within a block of time frame. So whether it's 30 days a week, of quick, easy weight loss, um, they're not going to set long-term goals or maintenance or anything or stability for someone. Sure. And, and why aren't these fad diets uh, ideal for everyone? So, you know, what I said, um, how they're only within a certain time block. In addition, they also don't really have much of support. Um, certain diet plans have support systems, while fad diets really don't have anything for you to lean on after um, you succeed your goal of, you know, losing 15 pounds. You don't really have the way to maintain that at the end. And what Michelle is talking about is more called like the yo-yo effect or yo-yo dieting. So what people do on these diets is they'll lose the weight quickly on the diet. Um, seeing those results, they'll stop it. And then they could gain that weight back or even more weight than before. So then because of that, they'll start the diet again, lose the weight, stop the diet, and get caught in this cycle that it just is ongoing. Yeah, and that's just entirely counterproductive for any diet. But mm -hmm. um, you mentioned the yo-yo effect. Mm -hmm. um, how can that be prevented? So, you know, ways to prevent the yo-yo effect is finding a diet plan that has more of a long-term setting. So, you know, speaking with someone like a registered dietitian may be helpful. Um, setting goals that will be able to be maintainable and sustainable and you know finding a diet plan that is more personalized to your lifestyle not just doing a quick easy way out as you said America's really into that and that's kind of one of the opposite things you want to do with weight loss. Sure and you talk about um, meeting with your dietitian you set up this new personalized diet plan how does that look like um, and, and compare it to one of these mm -hmm. fad diets? So what fad diets really do or some of them they tend to cut out food groups, for example, carbs. So you're cutting out your breads, your pastas, your starchy vegetables, and what people don't realize at times is that our body does really need these food groups in our body. We need all of them. We need a balanced diet. And the safest thing and the best thing to do is to really meet with a registered dietitian. When you meet with a registered dietitian, you can really sit down with them and they kind of collaborate and they'll really tailor a balanced diet into a meal plan that is beneficial for you and can help you reach those goals. Okay. But um, with this balanced diet, um, why is it better? I mean, I'm sure all of us could really improve our diets and, and we're missing some kind of food group, but um, why is it better? So a balanced diet is better because it doesn't have any restrictions of important nutrients that you need. So when you meet with your registered dietitian, they can kind of tailor your diet plan based on your own lifestyle, um, and it doesn't cut out something such as carbs like Taylor said. And you know, you need to find a balance between carbs, vegetables, protein, things like that, but it's important to keep in mind that you shouldn't just eliminate one of the products because you'll just substitute with addition of the other two. So it's important to balance all three of those on a plate. And like Taylor said, you can meet with the dietitian to find your balance. Mm -hmm. And like with what Michelle was talking about, balanced diet, it has all the nutrients that your body needs to stay alive and work and have the energy for those everyday activities. Um, those nutrients can also help you fight and even prevent diseases. So what we really need to focus on is that that balanced diet is one of the main like purposes and roles in our life that help us maintain our well-being. But we've covered most of the negatives of a fat diet and obviously there's better options, but are there any positives to these fat diets? So I'm not going to say there's really many positives of a fad diet per se. I think it's more of the person who's thinking of doing a fad diet. I think that shows that someone has motivation and some kind of inspiration that they want to, you know, lose weight, lower the cholesterol, whatever it may be. And I think that's kind of really the only benefit there is that someone does have the motivation to do something, so to change their lifestyle. Yeah. And going off Michelle, like using that motivation and having that idea of the clean eating and like 
motivation to have that healthy diet, you can use that and you can even start support systems with friends that want to diet or lose weight in a healthy way. Um, you can be with an RD, RD like we said before. Um, you can also join a gym, sign up for fitness classes to become physically active and all of that will just go into what we're talking about and maintaining that healthy lifestyle and making sure that we're healthy for the rest of our lives. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. There you have it. Being motivated is the first step to a better diet, but there's better alternatives than fad diets out there. And we thank you for watching today. That has been another edition of Nutrition Bites. This message brought to you by the LaSalle Nutrition Department.